you ever played the penis game with friends? Where someone goes, penis! And it gets louder and louder. I think it's kind of like filmmaking because the moment you scream penis in public, it's kind of like the moment you start talking to yourself in front of the camera. It's weird, it's awkward, and people will definitely stare at you. It's not easy, but this is why I film. Let me explain. In high school, I was a good kid. I would do my homework deep into the night because it was clear that success meant getting good grades. I didn't enjoy getting less sleep, but it seemed like that's what we were supposed to do. That's what everyone else was doing. High school was also the first time I picked up a camera. I had a bunch of classes where I made video projects, but by far the best class I ever had was this video journalism class in my senior year. For one of our group projects, the environmental club had asked us to make a video to promote awareness of the environment. So naturally, I volunteered to become a garbage monster created from the evils of not recycling. The acting was every bit as ridiculous as it looked. I wasn't sure if people would take the environment seriously after this, but honestly, I didn't care. We had the absolute best time making the video, and it was a nice break from our other classes. College was fun, but it was a lot harder too. Mostly because I had no idea what I was doing. There was a lot less structure, which was overwhelming at first. I bounced around from one piece of advice to the next for what I should be doing with classes and majors and careers. But I hung in there, and in my second year, my friend asked me to help him on a project for his film class. I was supposed to work on my own final projects, but I decided to go anyway. I held up a boom pole to record audio as my buddy interviewed strangers on the streets of downtown Chicago. It was tough work and we had to brave the wind on a cold November afternoon for a couple of hours, but I knew I was onto something. The spontaneity of the whole experience was refreshing and I liked that I was pulled away from my day to day. I took the same class the following winter. For my own final project, I made a narrative short film called Shadows. It was about a man who becomes depressed after losing his life savings in a poker game. Slowly, he recovers, but ultimately realizes that he can't truly escape his past, much like his shadow. My professor told me she had never seen anything like it. That was true, it was a completely original piece and I had a blast making it, so I took it as a compliment. After that, I took a couple of video classes that were more abstract. I made a performance art project where I showcased my own hands as the subject. I also made some projects and GIFs animating visual effects. And then there was Baby Portal. Some girl in class asked me why I made it. I had to repeat her question out loud to process it. I mean, wasn't it obvious? I made it for the project. The truth was, I had spent all night making three silly gifts that were due the next day. So it wasn't because I wanted to, it's because I kinda had to. But her question stuck with me. Why did I make these videos? These projects, I guess they were fun too, but they weren't nearly as fun as telling my own stories. Which is what I'm doing now. I'm 25, but had I realized sooner that filmmaking would be my escape from whatever I was supposed to do, I would have started filming more a long time ago. For most of my life, I was told to follow a path that a lot of people do. Go to school and get a good job. It's more conventional. It's the path of least resistance. 
and I did that. I went to school and I have a job now. But for the longest time, I had wanted to do something that I chose to do, something that I found valuable to me. And sometimes that means going against what most people would do. And that's hard. The truth is that I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with my filmmaking. And I think that's okay. I actually prefer that now. Because for me, trying to live someone else's story just isn't as fun as creating my own.